Hi, I'm Jonathan Granger and I'm going to show you a video about how we taught a group of baboons to learn to discriminate between real English words and strings of letters that are not English words. The baboons live in a large enclosure and on one side of the enclosure there are 10 testing booths that we can see here. The baboons are free to enter a testing booth and take part in an experiment whenever they want. They are identified by a microchip implanted in their arms so a computer launches the appropriate experiment for a given baboon. The mastermind behind this incredible setup is Joël Fago. Here we see inside the testing booths where there is a touch screen for presenting stimuli and recording responses and a food dispenser for delivering a reward after a correct response. That's the noise you can hear. And here we see a baboon performing our experiment. First touching the stimulus to initiate a trial and then touching the plus sign if the stimulus is a non-word and the oval shape if the stimulus is a word. That's a non-word. And the next stimulus. Yes, kite is an English word. This guy's doing quite well. Our results suggest that the baboons were using information about which letters are where in the words in order to accurately identify them, much like human readers do. Therefore, the way we humans read words might be at least partly determined by a more general and ancient ability to identify everyday objects on the basis of object parts and the relations between these parts.